my name is Maud. I am 23 years old from Canada. Uh, I've been in Leipzig for a month and I am uh, taking intensive German classes right now. So why did you move to Leipzig? I moved to Leipzig, oof, it's a long story. I have a German boyfriend. We've met each other in Australia in 2016 and fell in love really quickly, I guess. <laughs> um, after a few months of living together, he came back to Germany and I uh, kind of reached with him at some point and I did fall in love with the country. A month later I went back to Canada and we did a long distance relationship for a year. It was really difficult and then at some point I just decided that I was tired of of the long distance thing and I had nothing holding me back uh, in Montreal so I yeah I decided to make the move uh, to start German classes. Two months later I moved to Germany. Uh, he lives in a small town that uh, is in the Harz. It's a kind of mountain-ish region about an hour and a half away from here and I moved with him for two months and yeah it was really boring. <laughs> It was really, really like uh, quiet. There's not a lot of uh, young people there. People looked a little bit grumpy to me. I don't know. So I decided to try to Leipzig because it's the closest bigger city uh, near uh, his town. And I went here for a weekend and I fell in love with it. It reminded me a lot of back home actually. And I, yeah, I decided to start looking for apartments and here I am. What do you need to know before you come to Leipzig? I'd say for someone who is moving here, I would recommend to get a bike as fast as possible because the city is quite small. It's true, but I feel like all neighborhoods have whatever you need. And because of that, I think it's easy to just stay in your neighborhood. Not being a student, I cannot afford to uh, take the tram every time I'm moving. So bike makes everything, well, way cheaper and super accessible. Leipzig is definitely a bike city. Tell me about something funny or weird that happened to you here. I think I will tell you about Christmas in Germany. <laughs> Because I think like, yeah, I think when you move to a, a new country, Christmas is a really good way to experiment fully the, a new culture, right? I was in my boyfriend's family for Christmas and they are really traditional. They eat a lot. And that's the thing that surprised me the most. So there's this like kind of tradition thing that on Sunday family will meet up for um, tea and kuchen. So tea and cake. And every family member kind of brings something, some snacks or some cakes. So we go to uh, Stefan's uh, grandparents, Opa and Oma, and we have tea and cake at four. And everything's going great. I get really full. There's multiple uh, cakes on the table, so we see you try everything. To uh, digest, they offer you schnapps. <laughs> so everyone gets like a shooter, even like the younger like teenagers, they get a shooter of whatever alcohol that was. And then we pass to the living room and we talk a bit, we have more tea and there's some uh, like a little snacks, a lot of chocolate on the table. So I eat, I cannot just resist them, they're that. So I eat, I eat, an hour later it's dinner time. And then we pass to the kitchen and there's so much food on the table. There's the, like some potato salad, so much meat, everything like German traditional food uh, is there. And again, you want to try everything. So at the end, I just got like the biggest food baby ever. I was so full. Didn't thought so good actually. I was having some cramps and was, then it was schnapps time again. <laughs> I just want to go home at that point, but it was uh, unfortunately uh, dessert time. <laughs> yeah, they bring like ice cream and heaps of toppings for the ice cream, some kind of like cranberry sauce, homemade cranberry sauce from Oma. So you have it because it's impolite not to do so. And oh my God, I thought that was really funny. Um, especially that it was for three days in a row in different parts of his family. <laughs> so give me a recommendation of something to do or to see in Leipzig. One thing I liked the most when I came to Leipzig the first time was the Albertina Bibliothek. So it's the university library and When you get in, it's like getting in a really cool museum or something. Like there's like stairs, I want to say like marble looking stairs, but maybe they're made of wood. I just have this picture in my head. Anyways, and it's just so beautiful. And the whole ceiling is made of glass, which is incredible. So yeah, it's just to walk in there, walk in between the, the book alley. This is the kind of thing that I like a lot. So uh, yeah, definitely visit this one. Mm -hmm.